it's a challenge to whether you're setting up your still meetings still have to go forward. There still has to be a plan for, you know, whether it's contract administration and things moving forward. So while it might seem like a little bit of a ghost town, if you will, here in Building 5 and things, the work is not going undone. There's still tons of work. We're, we're taking the advantage of technology and keeping our, our meetings moving forward by using the go-to meeting. Um, we're still in great communication. Paperwork is still flowing with DocuSign. Again, just taking advantage of the technology that we have today. Sorry if I'm overwhelming everybody with meeting invites and things, but it's how we're communicating right now. It's the opportunity to, you know, to continue making a positive impact in what we're doing. Um, so it's a little bit busier here, a little bit crazier. A lot of our guys, our deputies are teleworking as well. We're rotating who's in here and who's not. Um, so it, it's, um, can't say that it's, you know, been much of a of a difficulty because it's not everybody is so good about reaching out communicating um working various shifts if you will even you know beyond our seven to five um we're you know make, making the best of it and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna shine through it i have um, a lot of experience in various state agencies um but the Division of Highways, the De Department of Transportation family has so grew on me. And I, I just wanted, I wanted more. I wanted to be able to offer what skills that I have and utilize them even more so up here um, in Building 5, however I effectively can. Um, coming on board, of course, we've brought in a new state highway engineer. And I'm just thrilled at the opportunity to be able to work with such a great group of people um, that represent our whole state. On the side, I uh, have the opportunity to purchase pallets um, and part of what was within a pallet um, was some mask. And um, when reviewing and looking to see what all I had in there, I immediately began to think about a lot of our um, hospitals, first responders and things. And we, we came across probably about 12 to 1500 masks and um, headbands that we began sewing buttons on so that if they have the regular fabric mask or the, the paper mask, if you will, they can attach those so it protects the ears. And then we discovered, um, I discovered lots of these masks. Um, they're very multifunctional um, and realized that the opportunity to be able to shield and protect ourselves, you know, kind of like in a, in a, in a bandit-like style. Our men and women are also out there on the front line. While we may not be first responders, there's still bridge inspections that have to take place. We still have essential travel taking place. So our forces and crews are out there as well. And, and in a way to kind of provide my support to our team and my family, it's, it's our, our DOH, we are a family. And um, it was my opportunity to donate and give. There is never a dull moment. There is always something to keep you busy. There's always the opportunity to continue to learn and to make a difference. No matter what we do, we should always strive to be a better person than we were yesterday and do something more than we did yesterday. And that's what I live by. That's what I like to, to say that I do. Um, and encouraging others to get out there and to do the same absolutely there is no small piece of a puzzle a piece of the puzzle is a piece of the puzzle it's not complete without every piece and as a secretary or as an assistant administrative support um, you are that piece and it's, it's vital nothing can go on without everybody playing their piece and doing their part so absolutely if somebody's thinking about something this is a great family to join you you will fall fall in love um, with the people and what you do and you'll have a true passion a true a true meaning and strive for what you do you, you won't you won't regret it